guy was moving in slow motion today out there. <laughs> For sure, and dripping probably yes, too. Yes, the whole time. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> Hot and humid, it feels like summer out there, right? And July is actually on our seven day forecast. Starting to feel like it, right? There's Greensboro today. You can see the clouds passing overhead. Hot and humid, not much in the way of rain yet, but we will look for some wet weather to be in here toward the end of the week. And yes, maybe in time for the holiday weekend, hoping we can get it out of here by Sunday and Monday. Temps are going to be close to 90 between now and then, and that's where we are now. 89 in Winston-Salem, 87 in Reedsville and Martinsville, as well as Mount Airy. Dew points are up there again. They're in the mid to upper 60s. The breeze is nice. Also, when you get a cloud between you and the sun, that's pretty nice, right? A good 10 degree drop in temps. That breeze out of the east and southeast is coming around the high and yes, the low, which is Tropical Storm Danny. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about that coming up. You can see some of the cloud cover kind of pushing through our area here. The cumulus first and then the tops of the showers and storms blowing in from our south and east. Not much in the way of rain and I anticipate that most of this is going to stay to our south or fall apart. So between now and midnight, I won't rule out maybe an isolated shower across our southernmost triad communities. Tomorrow morning we have fog, we have low clouds, and we've got warm air. And yeah, it's muggy. Temps will be in the mid-60s in the mountains, close to 70 in the triad. Here are the numbers for tomorrow. They don't change a whole lot from today. We're up close to 90. We've got a south wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. I did put in a 20% chance for maybe a pop-up shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon in the heat. High temperature close to 90 in the foothills too. 20 20% chance for a stray shower or storm. I think we have a better chance of seeing maybe a few pop up in the mountains. So about 30% tomorrow afternoon. Lots of heat here, lots of heat out west, and a stalled out front that's not really moving because we have a big ridge of hot air that we're going to cook under for the next few days. Pushing into that is Tropical Storm Danny, which just recently moved over the Gulf Stream waters where the temperature is about 83 degrees. And you can see a little blow up there. Notice it on our visible satellite picture. You're going to watch the thunderstorms just fire up there as this storm quickly intensified not more than 60 miles off the coast and became Tropical Storm Danny this afternoon. This is an infrared enhanced satellite picture just showing you that that big blob between Brunswick, Georgia and Charleston, South Carolina. 45 mile per winds right now, moving west northwest at 16, anticipating that this one's going to make landfall here shortly. Somewhere in the vicinity, maybe of Beaufort, South Carolina. Yes, it's pronounced Beaufort in South Carolina. Hilton Head Island, also near Charleston. Wind gusts have been up to about 25, 30 miles an hour along the coastline. Had a report of a gust at Folly Beach, which is not far from Charleston, at 41 miles an hour about an hour ago. They are anticipating gusty winds. Thankfully, the tides are low right now during this landfalling time, anticipating some one to three inches of rainfall. There is a tropical storm warning that includes Charleston, goes up to just south of Georgetown, and then just south of Hilton Head Island as well. You can see this storm system's track will take it inland by overnight and by tomorrow afternoon. It's over northern Georgia. It's just a remnant low and yes, it will sort of dissipate. But we have our fourth named storm of the season and three of them have formed in June and that hasn't happened since 18 night or should say 1968. So it's kind of rare. Well, we're on our way and we could get another one actually out here in the Atlantic. In the next five days, there's a chance that this one could become a tropical system. We'll keep a real close eye on that. In the meantime, we're going to be having some showers and thunderstorms in our forecast with a front that will cool us off for the holiday weekend as highs will be in the low 80s by then. All righty. Thank you, Lainey.